Hey friends, Sleepy here and welcome to a special vlog today. I'm going to talk about my experiences of being a small YouTuber and having a small channel here on YouTube. This is actually a video I meant to get filmed like six months ago as a response to my buddy True McFly. He actually had a video that was a video response to someone else who had another one. It was kind of like a chain thing about their experiences of being a small YouTuber here on YouTube. You know, like the pros and cons of being a small channel, just their overall experience. And so I had meant to actually get this thing filmed like six months ago, but I ended up forgetting about it. And actually this week, YouTube actually suggested his video to me in my feed. I saw that video and it reminded me like, oh yeah, I meant to get that video filmed last year and I never got a chance to and I forgot about it. So now... I'm going to take the time and do it this week. So, you know, I watched his video again to remind myself, you know, about the video and what he talked about. And, you know, I wanted to finally get this video uh, filmed and uploaded because I did want to get the video, you know, for him. And I told him I was going to, it was a great topic. I wanted to make a video and I just never did. So now here we go, bro. I'm finally getting the video made. So uh, hopefully you'll see it. You know, I can always uh, let you know. But I just wanted to talk about my experiences here on YouTube. And I've seen YouTube uh, change a lot. I've been on the platform now since 2010. But I didn't actually start uploading videos until 2011. And one of the main motivations behind me creating my channel was simply as a way for me to save videos from people who I was, whose videos I was watching their channels and you know, being subscribed to them. You know, because it's new to YouTube. And I was like, oh, I want to be able to keep finding these same people. And so that's why I created my channel. And I was, you know, checking out videos here. People, you know, just your average Joe, guys, girls, you know, just different people just uploading their random stuff about games that they love. Because, you know, I love gaming. I've loved gaming my entire life. I've always loved playing older games, even when the new stuff is out. Because in my um, time growing up, a lot of people I knew, they only cared about the newest stuff at the time. You know, once, like, Super Nintendo came out, oh, I don't really care about NES. 64 comes out, oh, I don't really care about that older stuff. You know, I had a lot of friends that would take their their, their consoles, sell them to the Funko Lands and the game stores, get rid of that kind of thing so they could get the new, hottest, latest console and games, and they would trade their old games in, and they would never keep their stuff. You know, I always kept my stuff. Because I enjoyed playing the old games at the time. You're like, oh, hey, the Super Nintendo's out. But I still like playing the old Nintendo. So I like I had kept both. And I've always collected like that. And I've just pretty much kept most of the stuff that I've bought over the years. Or been given to me, you know, I've kept. And didn't really sell off too much. I mean, there's been some stuff I sold in trade doubles. Things like that. But, you know, I always liked playing the older stuff. Even when the newer consoles came out. And most people were... The complete opposite of that and only wanted the new stuff so i didn't know a whole lot of people locally <laughs> who were really into playing these old games except i have my buddy grant and my one buddy marcus and a few other people that like playing old stuff but other people i played you know they always wanted to play the new stuff you know oh, where, where's the 360 you know where, where's that ps3 i want to play that kind of stuff i want to play ps2 and playstation or any of that crap you know i want to play the new stuff so <laughs> i didn't know how a lot of people that were into this old stuff and so when i got onto youtube i started discovering channels like, one of the first channels I ever subbed to was Vinny Black Lodge. A uh, really cool guy. Uh, Vinny hasn't uploaded, though, I think in like three years or so. But I used to love checking out his videos because he was doing the same kind of stuff I was doing at the time. And I still do to this day. And that was, you know, he was going to the thrift stores and searching for old games and going to yard sales, flea markets, and just hitting up random game stores and buying old games because it was so cheap you know where people weren't into it like they are today you know it's not like it is today where everyone and their brothers out there hustling trying to buy games you know at that time 2010 there wasn't a whole lot of people caring about the old stuff because they weren't worth a lot there wasn't huge value in it and you could go to goodwill and walk out with a cart full of games and consoles and stuff because they just didn't care about them at the time nobody did it was just oh it's just old crap that they were just getting rid of to the goodwill and you were able to find all kinds of great games and deals there. And so it was cool seeing other people doing the same thing as me. And so Vinny was one of the first channels I watched. And I remember one of the first videos I was was he was on a bike ride. And he was talking about how he went to Goodwill. And he grabbed a couple Nintendo 64 consoles and games. But he only had so much money with him. And, you know, he had to leave the stuff. And he got back, got home, got his car and went back there. And some of the stuff was already gone. But he didn't have the cash to get it. And so it was just kind of cool seeing people doing the same thing as I was doing. 
And another person that I met was uh, Tom. He has channels TB46667. Uh, his channel name's changed a couple different times, but he's been a really good friend here on uh, YouTube. Also, my buddy LostGamer8519, who's not uploaded for a couple of years now. I do miss his videos. Uh, there's just been a, several different people over the years that I've met that have come and gone from the platform. There's still some that are still here, and then there's some great ones that I've met recently. But overall, I've had a fairly positive experience here on YouTube. You know, I've met some great people that have shared my passion and my kind of, and my love for gaming, and it's been nice to be able to share that with them and to see the stuff they do. And I remember a buddy, you know, told me, "Hey, you know, you should you should start talking about the stuff you're finding. You know, you're in the same kind of thing. You're always commenting. You should make your own videos." And so I said, "Okay, cool." And I created my uh, first video was a pickups video, you know, sharing what I was finding. And it was like four videos, maybe five videos. You know, I was always behind the camera. And, you know, my buddy was like, hey, you ever thought about being in front of the camera? He's like, because I get better um, video views and responses if I'm actually on camera. He's like, you know, people like to see the person that's talking and see their face and, you know, just see them in general talking about the games they like and what they're finding. You know, have you ever thought about being on camera and stuff? And so... I was either video five or six. I started being on camera and I have been on camera ever since. And I know some people get shy being on a video and being filmed or whatever. And so they do stay behind the camera. But for me, I'm glad that I decided to get in front of the camera to show everybody what I look like and just, you know, to know who the hell they're talking to. Because I know there are some uh, channels that never show themselves and people are always wondering what the person looks like and that sometimes they have like a big review after so many views or some videos or years and they finally show you what their face uh, looks like but for me you know it's been a good positive experience being on uh, camera and it's something that I have enjoyed doing sharing my time and stuff with everybody and just finding people who like gaming like I do so it has been a really good experience now of course the platform has changed a lot at the beginning, you know, it was really just kind of your average Joes here and there making videos. It wasn't anything fancy like today. You know, you got all these people with the editing software. People are editing everything and making like professional videos and cameras and lighting and just t pumping tons and tons of money into their channel, which is something that would be cool to do. But for me, this has always just been a hobby channel, just a hobby, just like with gaming is a hobby for me. It's not something I take ultra crazy serious as far where I'm not gonna you know I'm not losing sleep if I'm not finding games out there I know some people get so caught up in the I gotta find stuff I gotta find stuff and I gotta show people what I'm getting and I gotta brag to them because my it's mine thing's never been about bragging you know I have a lot of games doesn't make me better person than you doesn't make me better person than anyone else just because Joe somebody has 10 million games doesn't mean I need to have 10 million games doesn't mean I'm a better person than them or I'm a better gamer or a true gamer or anything you know you can have any size collection is great long as it's something that you love and enjoy and means something to you so for me it's always been about just having fun and a hobby you know I didn't want this ever to turn into a chore or a job because I already have a job that I work like 40 hours, sometimes 50 hours a week. I have a wife and a son. I have obligations and stuff. Like, I don't need anything else that I have to, like, put a certain amount of time into because I'm forced to as it's like a job. I know some people have created YouTube as a career, and that's all they do for a living. And just, for me, it would just kill the fun of it and make it like a chore. Like, oh, God, now i got to upload a video again because i got to keep my schedule of two or three videos a week and I got to do my editing and got to find the time for it and what am I going to talk about today you know like I like just having a hey you know I can upload when I can upload and you know there's no obligation so you guys are never going to see me with a Patreon account you're not going to see me with a channel membership thing because number one my channel wouldn't warrant it anyways. I don't have the quality videos for that kind of thing. But also, I wouldn't don't need somebody like sending me money every month, like supporting the channel and paying me money. Because at that point, you know, I would feel like a Netflix, basically. You know, if you're paying a channel certain money, you know, then those people should start having an influence into what content you put out. You know, so I've seen that before on like big YouTube channels. Someone's like, oh, how come you don't make these videos anymore? And the you know, I've been a member doing, you know, for like this many years and following your channel and I miss these kind of videos. So see, at that point, if you're taking money from people for your channel, 
now I feel like you know they're, they have they're paying for a subscription to you, and they should get the videos they want. And now you know you need you should have them having say in what videos you upload. And <laughs> so I'm never gonna be somebody like that. I also don't have ads on my videos. I'm not monetized. I don't like having ads on videos. So as long as YouTube doesn't force them on us, I'll never have them on my channel. But I have heard them talking about possibly doing uh, ads on all videos at some point. And they won't share all the ad revenue with you. They, you know, only people who are monetized. Otherwise, you, uh, you know, YouTube, Google is going to just keep all the ad money for themselves. But that is one thing they have talked about possibly doing. I've heard others talk about it. So hopefully they don't. But that will be the only way I have ads on my uh, videos. And I just don't like having money you know, like be changing hands or something because of my videos you know having you know getting paid for you know this is supposed to just be fun not a career not a chore that's what i would feel it is if i did something like that um other challenges uh i've noticed and faced over the last uh several years especially since google took over is it's much harder for your channel to get exposure as it used to be you know youtube used to just share your videos and stuff where now they really limit to just select few people who they share bigger channels. You know, they really only care about channels that make them money because at the end of the day, Google has YouTube to make money off of ads and people watching ads and clicking on things. You know, they're not here for a just be just because they love having videos up and they just love um, supporting them. They just love hosting them. No, you know, their big thing is about making money. And so they know that, Big channels who are monetized, big gaming channels, and what other ch other channels that are out there, you know, car channels, movie channels, whatever they are, the big channels are the ones that they push and promote. And that's why you'll see them being pushed, their content being pushed, because they make Google money. Where a channel like mine doesn't make them a dime, so why the hell would they give a shit about my channel? And so that's why, over the years, my videos have got less views, and they have been less, they've been shared less. And that's why you might hear channels talking about, hey guys, thanks for watching, you know, like, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And the whole reason people are telling you to like and comment especially is because the more a video gets liked or disliked or commented on, the better chance you have of it getting actually shared by Google and YouTube and getting traction and getting more views on it. And so that's why people always say that. One of the big motivations behind that, people telling you that, is because you know they want to get their videos viewed more. Because especially if they're a small channel like mine, you know, it's kind of you need word of mouth and people to, to share your video and make sure that they have people who are sub to you and turn that bell notification on so that they actually get notified when you upload a video so you actually get views. And, of course, you know, you can say, like, you know, if you create a better, you know, people create better videos, you'll get better views and stuff. But at the end of the day, too, you, you already have as being a small YouTuber, you already have that wall put in front of you by YouTube where your videos don't get shared as much as they did in the past. And, of course, too... You know, chase have kind of changed as far as like retro gaming on YouTube. As popular as it is to buy and share and all this stuff, uh, more people like to talk about like the Nintendo Switch and uh, the new Xbox and the new Sony and stuff. And that's why you'll see a lot of bigger gaming channels have changed from focusing on retro to more modern stuff, where like your Facebook and your Instagram and your Reddits and Twitters and all those are kind of where people share the old games they find. Where on YouTube, more people seem to be more into the newer stuff. I mean, I have seen some traction back into the older stuff. But, you know, for the big channels, they mostly go where the money is. And they chase after, like, Switch videos and the new content. New consoles and stuff is where they are. Where me, you know, I just love video games from Atari all the way to Xbox One. So my channel is just focused on my collection and gaming and stuff and what I love. And I'm not going to be chasing trends or anything. You know, I don't follow other people. You know, I like to just do my own thing. And so that's what I've been doing with my channel. I mean, what I've loved it to explode it and grow huge, of course, it'd be nice to have that. But, you know, at that point, once you get to a certain, like, level, it becomes really difficult for you to respond to comments. Especially if you start getting, like, you know, 100, 2, 3, 400 comments a video. It's, like, really hard to respond to uh, comments. Even me, when I get, like, 10 or 20 or 30, you know, it can take time, you know, because I want to actually respond to people and leave a meaningful comment, not just, hey, thanks for watching, thanks for watching, hey, thanks, you know, you know, people take the time to actually, you know, write down a thoughtful comment and talk about the video, you know, I want to respond the same way and interact with them, because for me, that's the whole 
thing being on here is just chatting with you guys and you know talking about why we love games and so that's why i like to be able to take my time with comments especially people write like longer ones it might be a paragraph or two you know i want to respond to everything they're talking about in in their comment and stuff and respond to them i don't like just leaving like oh thank you you know someone will leave a detailed thing oh yeah it was so cool you found this this and this and this you know i like the xbox you know, in the PlayStation, you know, have you ever played this game? And the person you'll see there sometimes will just be like, oh, thanks for checking out. Yep, I like it. And that's all you hear. So I, I never wanted to be like that. So, you know, I do like being a smaller channel and not having any, like, obligations of being a big channel that's monetized or anything like that. But, of course, you know, that roadblock from YouTube has been a difficult one to overcome. But, like I said, it is what it is. You know, I won't be on YouTube forever. I mean, nobody's going to be on YouTube forever. I mean, who knows the future of the platform, especially with Google. And I know they're pushing that YouTube red with a, you pay them so much money a month so you don't get ads. And I'm talking about putting ads on all videos. I mean, I have just, you know, no idea. We'll see, you know, what the future holds for me. But for now, you know, I'm having a lot of fun with it. And I met some wonderful people here. And I just like having fun you know, keeping this just a fun hobby channel, nothing more, nothing less, you know, this also too, you know, I've seen a lot of people that are on here that like to get into the whole one-upmanship, you know, the keeping up with the Joneses, you know, like, oh, well, this guy, this guy, you know, is going for a complete 64, so well, I should go for it too, and I'm going to buy this and this, and I'm going to show up, I'm going to get a better steal than this guy, and I'm going to have a better collection, so I'm going to brag, and get in front of the video and tell people how much better I am than because I have this rare game or I have 20 of this thing, you know, I, <laughs> I never got into stuff like that. It's just, Hey, here's the stuff I like finding. It's cool. You know, I have a passion for it and I like playing games, but I'm not at the same time. I'm not going to go absolutely nuts over it and let it completely consume my life because I had a buddy, you know, that had a YouTube channel years ago and he just, let it go to his head and he was I remember at one point it was so bad that he was telling me he was literally buying stuff just to make a pickups video because they were so popular at the time it didn't even care what it was he's just buying it simply then he's like yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do with this shit he's like i just bought it to show people or he would go out and make uh game hunting videos because those were really popular and it was just you know like game chasers were just starting at the time stuff but people like this videos of you going out game hunting he said he would go out and film him even when he didn't have money at a thrift store or a game store saying he was buying stuff and he really didn't buy it he just did it to film a video and he just got to that point where he was just so obsessed with it that he was like spending every waking minute obsessed with buying games and wanting to show them off to people and stuff he was just spending money like crazy <laughs> and almost put himself into major debt because of it and that's just not how I ever want to be, and it's not how my channel is. You know, like I said, you know, just me sharing stuff that I have just because I have a certain size big collection or whatever doesn't make me better than anyone else. And you know, it's always just going to be about having fun. And so I always suggest that for people: you know, just have fun. If you, especially if you got a channel and with your collecting, have fun with it because games are supposed to be have they're supposed to be made as fun. They're not something that's supposed to stress you out and worry you because you're not getting the same deals that Joe, some other guy, and another state or a country is getting and he's buying a complete 64 sets so of why am i not doing and he's got the you know it's it should just be hey do you enjoy your collection for you or are you collecting it to show off to other people for me i'm collecting for myself i love this stuff i love having it and it's fun for me if it ever becomes where it's not fun anymore I can just sell it off and be done with it. I know people who have done that. You know, they got into the hobby. They just were buying a ton of shit and they got burnt out and they just sold everything off and were done with it. And sometimes they've come back, sometimes they haven't. So, you know, always have the option to sell off stuff. But for me, I just keep it about having fun and not a chore and not a job and just have fun. That's, you know, the best way <laughs> I can describe it is just having fun here on YouTube. And I have had fun in the, um over 10 years that i've been here on youtube and uploading videos i'm actually very close to like my 500th video it's either gonna be this one or the next one i'd have to double check on there but i'm <laughs> i'm really close to 500 videos it's crazy i have almost 200 uh different pickup videos i think i'm at like 194 
I have a new one I'll be uploading here. I'll see my 195th one. But if you guys have been with the channel that long, you guys could have seen how my collection has grown from what it was to what it is now. Like, it's grown a lot. And I've shared my collection growth with uh, everyone and the different things that I found. And I've just had fun sharing my journey with uh, others. And I've discovered a lot of wonderful uh, channels here and other people and what they've been buying and stuff and recommendations. And it's been overall really good experience. Now, there are people that uh in the community and just in other videos and stuff they get into the whole drama and they get views because they put down other people and that kind of stuff it's like i've never got into that i'm not into that kind of stuff i don't like drama videos and caring about what other people are doing and trying to bring others down you know i've never been into that you know like i said i'm here it's just like a to have fun and relax and not be something that's taken so serious so i don't like getting into that drama crap so I don't like being involved in it, and I won't be involved in it. It's just, it's just not not me. It's not my personality. You know, I just like getting along with people and just sharing and talking about games that I love. But that's what I pretty much, basically, how my channel has been. Like I said, I've had the ups and downs. I used to have a lot more viewers, but you know, the interest and stuff have changed over the years. And of course, with YouTube being involved and making it harder for your videos to be viewed, you know. It can make it frustrating at times. I know there's been others that talked about it that they have kind of lost motivation to make videos because they just can't get any traction on their channel because of YouTube. It doesn't ever share their videos. But, you know, at the end of the day, they own YouTube. They own the platform. And you just kind of have to follow their rules. And if they decide one day, you know, they only want certain people uploading, there's nothing you can do. I have all my channel, all my videos on my channel backed up on my computer. So I... If I ever have to go to a different platform to upload videos, I can, and I can always upload the old videos. But I always keep mine backed up. I got an external hard drive that's full of all the videos, so I have an archive of my time here on uh, YouTube. And if I ever have to leave, of course, I'll let you guys know and give you, you know, info of where I'm moving to if I decide to, you know, keep a channel going somewhere else in the future. But as of now, you guys, I'll still be here on YouTube. I'll still be uploading my videos. I'll still be the, the you know, poor man's quality videos that they've always been over the years, you know, with me just filming with my Sony camera. And then I, I've been filming with just my uh, phone and, and don't do too much crazy editing. You know, this is just how my videos are and how my channel's been. And like I said, I just want to keep it a fun hobby channel, but Hey, I would like to open this video up if anyone else wants to do a video response about your guys' experience of being a small YouTuber and channel. Love to see your guys' video response to it. If you guys do uh, leave me a link, in the comments so I can check it out because of course YouTube doesn't always tell me when people upload uh, videos and I would hate to miss it. Alright guys, I want to thank you for watching. Take care. Have a wonderful day and you guys and sleepy. We'll see you guys next time.